Victoria, my dear. There are some decisions that we have to make on our own. All the advice in the world shouldn't make any difference to them because they are our decisions. They affect us. So I wouldn't dream of offering you advice, but for what it's worth, I believe you have made the right choice. If you stayed with us, I could never promise that Jamie and I could get you home. And anyway, what sort of home would you have? We've spoken before about how we miss our families. But I should tell you that I owe your father a lot. I owe him my life. And just as important, I owe him the time that I've spent with you. I know it hasn't always been easy. Jamie can be quite tiresome, can't he? <laughs> I never promised you safety, but I think, I hope, that you have enjoyed your time with us. The places we've been, the times we've visited, the people we've met, there's been danger, but there's been excitement too. Our lives are so different to everybody else's. No one in the universe could have done the things you have done. Travel really does broaden the mind, you know. I shall miss you, Victoria. I hope that you will miss me too. But times change as I know better than most. It is time for you to start a new chapter in the book of your life. And with Maggie and Frank Harris to look after you, I am sure that chapter will be a good one. Perhaps we shall meet again. I hope so. But until that time, be assured that you will sleep in my memory, just as I hope that I shall sleep in yours. Your friend, the Doctor.